Hello everyone. So today we are going to polish the camera moment, this edge scrolling by adding a variable speed uh, for the camera based on how close our cursor to this edge is. So for example, here if I keep my mouse a bit close, uh, uh, somewhat away from the edge like this you can see my camera is moving much slower but if i push all the way to the edge you can see it's much faster so the same is true for both sides up and down left and right so we are going to work on that and also we are going to polish the camera movement by doing this uh, when the camera is zoomed in you can see even if i push to the edge the speed edge is much slower compared to the zoomed out speed because in a zoomed in state if the camera is moving too fast it kind of gets uh, hard for the player to control the game so these are the things that we are going to work on today all right so now we can push the arrow to the edge and move but we are moving in a constant speed which could be annoying so I want and especially when we have zoomed out you can see it feels very slow when we move the speed seems all right when you have zoomed in a lot but then again it could be a bit too much too so how can we change the speed of the camera moment based on this uh, zoom level and also how close we push the cursor to the edge right so to implement those let me open the player controller now the camera movement is implemented but here we were already there so we set this move camera variable in this check camera position function which I call I think in the tick uh, no not in the tick here with the uh, time because it's not necessary for us to check the position of the cursor in every frame that's a waste right now here what we do is uh, we call this follow function which is just adding a moment input to the control port which is this player pawn right now what I'm gonna do is here let's set the max speed let's say 5000 now it should be faster let's see see it's fast and actually it's too much for this zoom level but in this zoom level that seems fine so yeah still we can control this that speed for example if I put point one here see it's very slow it's moving but very slow 
now and the function where we check the location of the mouse here let's see let's return this difference just to see what kind of a value we get so basically what happens is here we are checking how close the mouse location this given position to one of the edges that's basically what we are calculating here I'll call it distance to edge and let's print that to get an idea about what kind of a value we get here first x location distance then y location distance Okay. Okay. Right. And this edge we get eighty five, something like eighty ninety. And in this edge we get something like again eighty something. So that's x and for y it's 40 something here and 40 something again here okay and the value was negative for y uh, let me instead of considering this let me divide this value from the size That should give us a better value. So now in the middle it's zero and when it go to an edge it's 0 0.4 here. It's again 0 0.4 uh, like getting closer to 0 0.5. Yeah. So See at the edge in the vertical side the edge is getting closer to 0.5 and in horizontally also the same okay now actually we get the value 0.5 because here we have uh, okay so now let's have another variable like with these two let's uh, add these two together and from auto variable what should we call it control speed yeah that's a one uh one more thing Here, you see, at in a point like this, we don't really move at all. But the value in x is zero point four three, and from here to there, it changes about zero point zero five amount, zero point zero five amount. So to consider that part to take into that distance difference 
I think um, if I produce uh, this uh, subtract zero point four five from here let me check again yeah now point zero one to point zero four okay so then if I multiply this by hundred we get a good value here it's 3 and here it's 0 3 to 0 okay so that's a good way to change parameter that we can use to change the speed and also let's clamp this in between 0 and 5 right now in here in the camera moment follow we can use control speed so we would get a value in between in between 0 and 10 and if I multiply it with point 0.1 and put here we will get a value in between 0 and 1 so we i should be able to change the speed of camera movement by see if my cursor is away a bit away from the edge the speed is low if i move closer to the edge the speed is fast If I keep it like this, you can see it's moving really slow. moving really slow if i push further it getting faster okay that's the exact effect i wanted to have uh, one more thing if we are zoomed in this becomes really fast so maybe we can change the character speed based on the zoom level uh, actually by zoom level that means the distance of this is spring arm how do i change that here So arm length is in between 500 and 10,000. So our character's speed is in between 5,000. Well, its max speed is 5,000 locked at the moment. So we should have the speed 5,000 
when we are zoomed out let's say like eight thousand or ten for ten thousand uh, arm length ten thousand arm length of the spring arm means we are fully zoomed out so when we are fully zoomed out the speed can be five thousand so let's do something like this set max speed based on the arm length divided by 2 now let's see yeah it's fast now when we are zoomed out but when we are zoomed in See, it's much slower which is good for the control of gear see compared to the zoomed in level how fast this zoomed out camera movement is okay <laughs> I think that's enough for today. So thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.